Hey, it's Marty from PastaGuy.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vegetarian pasta soup dish. Or let's just say I'm going to show you how to make a vegetarian pasta dish that happens to be a soup. It's actually much more than that. And don't click away when I tell you that it is peas and shells. Peas and pasta, uh -uh, no. I've made a lot of converts out of pea naysayers uh, from this dish. This is the only way I would eat peas growing up. It's one of my favorite dishes of my mom's. And uh, there was even an Italian film about peas and pasta that I saw. It was amazing. It was like the central focus of the film. That's how good this is. I'm going to give you the essential ingredients first and then some things you can add to it to enhance it. Extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, onions. I use leeks because I love leeks. This is a package of frozen peas. You can use canned, you can use fresh, of course, and sauce and pasta. Now, the sauce, if you haven't seen my marinara recipe, please check it out. It's fast, it's, it's an easy recipe that's simple and it's really excellent. I'm sure some of you have your own versions of sauce. If you have to buy sauce in the grocery, then go ahead, but you know, come on. Uh, here's some things that uh, will enhance it. More garlic, because this is two cups of sauce and it's gonna make about 10 servings or more, um, but you're gonna add, because you're gonna add water, it's soup. And this is gonna flavor the soup, but you might wanna add some extra garlic and some fresh basil. I highly recommend some more red pepper flakes. And I put asparagus in mine. I chop up asparagus. I think it makes it even that much more refreshing. This is a great summertime soup. The pasta is uh, medium-sized shells. These are actually orchiettes, and that's, uh, that means little ears. It, these look like little hats, and they're the right size. It's all I could find. At the end, we're going to sprinkle on some really good, high-quality Pecorino Romano cheese. Buy the good imported stuff. It's worth it. Some of you like measurements, so I'm going to estimate these amounts. I use about a half a leek. You have to wash these things really well. They have sand in them. You want these to fit on a spoon, so you have to chop them pretty, pretty small. By the way, this does not have to be vegetarian. You can put pancetta, Italian bacon, or prosciutto, Italian ham, in it. If you do that, cook those separately and then put them in the serving bowls. That way, when you refrigerate this soup, you don't have that meat in there because the meat will get soggy. As far as that Italian film goes that I mentioned, it was about three guys standing in this long unemployment line and they start chatting and become fast friends. One of them says, hey, I have a neighbor who goes out. She goes out every night and she leaves her kitchen window open. We could go over there and rob that place and we wouldn't have to be in this unemployment line. So they agree to do that and they get in the window, they come into the kitchen and there's peas and pasta on the stove that's still warm. So they start eating it and they sit around the table and they start talking about the peas and pasta, how good it is, how their wives make a version of it and how this is different, this is exceptional, and they keep going back for seconds and thirds. And knowing Italian films, they were probably comparing peas and pasta to life itself. But eventually they hear the front door opening and they run out the window, accomplishing nothing. Now, I just remember how hungry I was when I left that movie theater and I came home and I told my mom about it and she went to the grocery and she made some peas and pasta that night. It was great. As far as salting your pasta water, they say to do it like seawater. What seawater has so much salt in it, I'm surprised there's room for water. I'd have to put half of that box of salt in this water to make it like seawater. The salt makes the water boil at a higher temperature, but it also flavors the pasta. You just don't need as much as they say. You could use this mixture right here for sauce for spaghetti if you used a little less water. When the pasta is a little undercooked, you can either strain it or sift it out and let it finish cooking in the sauce. Or you can keep the pasta separate from the sauce and put it in the bowls, the serving bowls. And that way when you refrigerate it, the pasta won't be refrigerated. Some people don't like leftover pasta because it swells. But believe me, the deliciousness of this dish is resilient. You can do just about anything and it's still going to be great. As I said, get some good cheese. The Romano is really the icing on the cake. 
Now, this dish is not only delicious, but it's just beautiful to look at. It's really exceptional. And at the end of that Italian film, the heist was unsuccessful because they were all sitting around talking about the food, the whole movie. And they were blaming each other, and the one guy looked at both of them and he said, what could we do? It was peas and pasta. Oh.